What's going on guys? Thomas Heinen Fishing back here for another video and today we are discussing chatterbaits. So I've had a few questions from my last video on how to rig stuff, like how to rig Elastec Plastics, how to um, know what bait's good for when and stuff like that. So I was wanting to do a video today on chatterbait fishing because I love fishing chatterbaits and I know a lot of people out there do and these have been tearing up the fishing industry lately they have been catching fish all across the world and i think it's important to know what trailers you're going to use and when and why so i'm going to go over my top four trailers i have um, one of them i haven't even fished yet but after doing my research on it after watching videos on it after seeing how this bait moves in the water it's an instant favorite of mine and i haven't even thrown it, thrown it yet and i guarantee you it's going to be one I'm gonna have rigged up like 90% of the time. This is the Billy Goat. This is an orange green pumpkin, but color doesn't matter as much for me as it does for some people. Um, I'm, I like mix, mix matching the chatterbait and the trailer itself. Uh, I don't like having that perfect match because I mean, you, I do sometimes when you're trying to match everything, but there's a lot of times where you can you know, not match it and still catch a lot of fish. And there's other little reasons for that, but I'll get that later. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to rig this bait. This here is a Project Z Chatterbait, and this is a Billy Goats, a Laztec Plastics from Z-Man. This is their new bait they just came out with. The detail on this thing's insane. And as you know, it is a Laztec, so the bait does not rip. You can stretch this and it won't tear up. This bait can catch hundreds of fish and not have to replace it. But I'm gonna show you how to rig this bait. So what I first like to do is uh, go through the top nose. I know some people like to sit here and line it up to see where they're gonna pop it out at and count the ribs and all that. I do that, but I, it's so natural to me to rig a chatterbait trailer, I just don't even think about it. But I'm gonna show you how I do it. <clears throat> I take the nose, I go right down the middle, and I'll pop it out right about there and Hope you can see that. Um, it's about one, two, three, five ribs down, and then I'll push it up. And it's a last tech, so you don't have to get, you know, you don't have to be gentle with it. You can pull it and stretch it and make sure it gets up there. But this is one way I like rigging this bait. Here it is, what it would look like in the water. So if you're looking from it on the top view, here it is swimming in the water. The tail is sideways on it, and these kickers start going. They throw off a bunch of water. That is probably gonna be my prime way of throwing it. And if they were, if I was around some crawfish, I would definitely throw it this way. But the other way I like to throw this bait, well, I would like to throw this bait, and this is how I throw my other crawl type baits, is I rig it sideways. So instead of going right here through the middle, I turn it sideways and I'll rig it the same way through the top, just long ways. So what I'll do is I'll go down about four or five ribs and then pull it down, because it's elastic and it won't rip. If that was a different brand trailer, that would have ripped easily and Z-Man, you don't have that problem. So, here it is rigged up. Looks the same, but this bait is sideways now. It, it's gonna swim through the water like that. So here's your hook. Now it looks like that. So now it has a tail, kind of like a bait fish. So there's multiple ways to rig this billy goat here and they make them, I believe, in a three-pack. Yeah, this is a three-pack billy goat here. And they're four, four and a quarter inches. And they sell them on zmanfishing.com. Definitely a go-to bait of mine, or will be for the 2021 season. Um, this next bait I have, so this is a different chatterbait. I'm just selling, you know, the same kind of chatterbaits here to, for preference. And uh, I'm going to show you another trailer I like. This one is... The turbo crawl this is in dark melon red and i believe they are yeah they're four inches and they come in six pack this is a actually a newer color i haven't tried this color yet but i'm excited to try that but anyway this is a turbo crawl 
and it has normally they come attached the crawls come attached so you just break the middle part and it's and it's good but this is an awesome chatterbait trailer i've used these a lot and i, I catch so many fish on this bait uh, they come with these little appendages here so if bluegill hit it they, they're not going to rip off um i'll show you how to rig this bait i'll try this chatterbait and same thing with the with the turbo crawls you can rig this one sideways too but it's a little thinner body so i'm not going to do it because then it won't look as uniform and i don't like i don't know I, I i'm real picky on how a bait looks so and i shouldn't be but i'm going to go through the top here i come all the way down and right about there hope you can see that right about there and then I'll push it right up. About like that. And now with that skirt falling over it, that looks that looks so good. This would be a great spawn bait. You know, bass bass will tear up a chatterbait during the spawn. Next bait I'm gonna try to show you here is the jackhammer. And this is just the Beehive Delight standard jackhammer, 3 8 ounce. And I'm going to pair it up with a diesel minnow and bad shad. This here is four inch. They come in a five pack. Great chatterbait trailer. How to rig this is you always want to, these you can lay out and see how it's going to lay inside the bait. So you put it up to the nose of it and you're like, okay, it's going to come out right about here on the back. So you'll know how far down to go. You can rig it upside down if you want. This tail will still get great action, but I like to keep it straight like this. I know there's a lot of guys that like flipping it upside down and I've done it and it works, but I just like the look of it better. I don't know why, but just like that. So I'm gonna show you. So if you have your hook right here, you turn the head facing the hook, like the back part facing the hook. Otherwise you're gonna rig it upside down. So you'll go through the head right here Hope you guys can see this and then you're gonna go push it through the back and you're gonna come out the top spine right there and then since it's elastic I can pull it up they can be a little tricky getting on the hook but once you get them on, they ain't coming off. Even if you catch fish, you don't have to really fix them or any of that. They're great durable baits. But once you figure out how to rig them, then you won't ever, ever change. <laughs> so there's a diesel minnow rigged up. Great bait, nice tail. Bluegill eats it. Normally they rip off your tails and then you have to, you know, get another bait and these, <laughs> will not rip i've i've caught fish before not even hooking the fish they just were clamped onto this and they weren't letting go and the bait was still fine so that's the diesel minnow now last but definitely not least is my favorite chatterbait trailer here's my chatterbait and this is the trailer razor shad i think these are a four pack two four pack four and a half inches razor shad there's a lot of colors I like in these, and the, these baits are jointed, and they're just all around a perfect chatterbait trailer. I know a lot of the Z-Man pros will fish this one too, and I've seen a lot of people use this as a trailer too. They're starting to figure out that this is really a fish catcher. This tail is so flimsy, it moves in the water, and with it being jointed, it has a lot of space to move, and it's not so stiff. So. What I like doing is just like any other bait. Here's the back part. I'm gonna line it up with the hook. I'm gonna go right here through the nose, push it through. I'm gonna come out the back. <clears throat> About like that. And that is a perfectly rigged chatterbait. Hope you guys can see that well. It's kinda, the lighting's kinda weird out here. I'm on my deck, by the way, just cause it's I thought it was better lighting but that is a razor shad they have um i think two sizes i could be wrong i always get this size though this is the four and a half 
and this this color is breaking bream for anyone wondering i like pearl i like bad shad this is a diesel minnow but this is the color bad shad i love that color in the razor shad but that right there is my favorite all-around go-to chatterbait trailer and uh, i think 90 percent of the time this is going to be rigged up along with the billy goat this year so we're, i can't wait to try this one out i know it's going to produce well but it's going to be hard to beat an old razor shad so if you guys have any questions from the last video from this video uh, message me on social media comment on this uh, video and you can um, shoot out any questions you have for me i know i did this video from the last video because people asked me if i could show and demonstrate how to rig a certain bait and so i i thought i'd do a my favorite chatterbait trailers because the chatterbait's a big a big bait in my arsenal and i throw this a lot so i think it'd be an important video to do but if you guys have any questions at all shoot them my way and i'll be glad to answer them and I'm going to try to get out a little bit and fish this week and try to film. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.